Hey everybody, today we're talking about does this patient have sesamoiditis? Typically they're going to come through saying that they've got a, you know, a, a aching or throbbing or a sharp pain underneath their big toe joint or that first metatarsophalangeal joint. You know, on x-rays or ultrasound, you know, th there can be some normal variances, um, which are like those bipartites or tripartite, uh, you know, sesamoids. But it could also be quite large or, you know, hyperplased, uh, or it could also be fractured, in which case, you know, we might see some, you know, a, a different callusing changes around the bone. Now, in those cases, it is going to be more than likely that there'll be effusions or fluid around it on ultrasound, um, and that inflammation maybe in, you know, effusions coming off of the joint as well. But typically what we're looking at, and for myself, is, okay, why has that occurred? And a lot of the time it might be that that plantar flexed first ray on our lateral x-ray is quite easily seen which is going to overload that, that plantar aspect of the first um, metatarsophalangeal joint in comparison with those lesser rays that may be happening there. Now, when we're going to palpate, we're going to be palpating directly onto those sesamoids. And so a really good understanding of your anatomy is important. If you're finding that it's only the medial or only the lateral, that's typically what we're going to see, unless it is really quite plantar flexed and overloaded in that area. A great test for this is to be doing some active resistance um, against plantar flexion of the hallux. And if you pull in your um, finger that they're resisting against, just uh, you know, into that uh, hallux uh, proximal base of the um, proximal, the base of the proximal phalanx, then you're going to be able to really uh, stress where those uh, sesamoids are going within your flexor hallucis brevis. Now, if you're getting pain against resistance, yes, it's going to be potentially a bit of tendinopathy, but also, uh, you know, making sure that it is, you know, the sesamoids that are of concern. Do a few other assessments, and we'll definitely talk about some of the differentials in one of our other videos. But for the moment, if you've liked this video, hit the subscribe button, have a bit of a look at our other sessions, and otherwise, uh, we'll see you there. Cheers.